I'm Mike Jones, associate producer at Tomi. Uh, here to talk to you guys about Naruto Shippuden Clash of Ninja Revolution 3. Um, just kind of here to go over some of the basic gameplay mechanics, some of the more advanced techniques, some of the new stuff that we've added, and just kind of like some of the depth of the overall fighting experience uh, that is the game. The game does support the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, uh, the Wii Remote, as well as the Classic Controller and the GameCube Controller. As far as movement, you know, using the analog stick, you can push back and forth to move. Um, you can push ups to jump. You can push up again to double jump. You can kind of double jump whatever direction you want. So you can like jump over a character and back. This kind of stuff. Uh, you can press, uh, you can double tap the analog stick in a direction to do a quick dash or back step. Um, the back step has some invulnerability associated with it, you know, so if you're trying to get away from some attacks and things, in a lot of cases you can, you can back step out of combo strings. Um, you can also uh, run if you've got enough space, so you can double tap forward and hold forward to run. And uh, you'll have different attack options while you're running too, like running weak attack. It's slightly different from standing weak attack, things like that. The attacks you can um, you can string different attacks, the heavy and weak attack, uh, together to do combos. So you know, weak attack is just kind of this uh, hook punch that Naruto does. But if you do up an attack, he'll do sort of this like lift kick. If you do down an attack, he'll do a you know a sweep. Uh, if you do forward an attack, it's kind of jumping smash. Back an attack, he'll do this sort of lunge. Same thing with heavy attack. So heavy attack is usually reserved for projectiles and kind of like ninja type of moves and things like that. So neutral A will throw kunai. Uh, up and A will throw Kunai up. Towards an A will kind of do this Kunai slash for Naruto. Um, his back and A actually does a, uh, a counter. Down A is, uh, he does this clone attack, and this will actually track opponents anywhere on the screen. Um, so, and, and this is just Naruto's basic moveset. Obviously there's over 35 characters and everybody has their own sort of like normal attacks, special attacks and things like that. And then you can string these basic attacks together to make combos. You know, you can just mash weak attack and that'll kind of let you a basic combo. Basic defense is, uh, you know, in order to guard moves, it's actually just you leave the analog stick in a neutral position or you hold away from your opponent. So you don't, you have to hold a guard button or hold away necessarily. Uh, it's kind of like Tekken in that, you know, if you're in a neutral idle position, you'll automatically guard. Basically, if an if opponent's able to get behind you though, you will not guard from the back automatically. So you actually have to manually exactly turn around and then you can guard. And then uh, obviously so the balls at the uh, top of your life gauge and your chakra gauge are the guard crush meter. So like as you guard attacks, you'll see that those balls start to decrease. Um, and as you're guarding, you'll see that the block stun actually changes color. Um, so it goes from blue to this kind of yellow color when you're sort of in danger. And then as you get closer and closer to block stun, it'll get, or guard crush, it'll become red. So if you guard too much, you lose all your chakra also. So you kind of want to you kind of want to avoid guard crush if at all possible. Sidestep, attack, even let yourself get hit if necessary. Um, if you don't want to lose your chakra and kind of end up in a free combo situation.